has kept our milk teeth in a small trinket box in a drawer in her dressing table. What, is she a witch? Is she going to boil them up with hair and herb to ward off evil spirits? Or does she have plans to build a tooth-cobbled city in the sky? Or rather, can she recall how she ran her thumb along our gums, waiting for those tiny cells yet to erupt? Does she still miss the weight of our hot little bodies, fist chewing and gurning over her shoulder as she pushed through her unbearable ache for sleep to soothe our fretful tears? Can she still savour our early morning breakfast smiles? The one-tooth grins with dribble all down the bib and chin. Until our mouths calmed and filled with curious words instead. Until the school run weeks of wobbling and woe arrived. And she never can forget the look in our eyes of fear and pain as part of us threatened to dislodge that tiny bloody thre thread of the last snap, the door slamming and strings and family cheers of triumph as we stood there proud, her long-limbed gappy gobs, upright and self-possessed, tooth in palm, a medal of experience for all the world to see. And does she still hear the duvets rustle as she tucked us in, our carefully parceled offerings under our pillow? Can she still feel the fairy silver cool of the moon-like coin, our reward for letting go of our outgrown selves with such grace and poise and beauty? So, this trinket box then, to some perhaps a gross-out, foolish, morbid hoard, but to her, our mum, a set of pearls, each one a tiny amulet to the little being that she built with blood and love and song. To her, they are as sweet as nuts, endangered like ivory. <laughs>